Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Adam Draw Stuff. I'm Adam and I draw stuff. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I've seen a lot of confusion about what exactly drawing pencils are and what they're good for. And I thought today I'd give you a little bit of a demonstration and kind of um, just show you exactly how they work and why you would want to use those over just a standard number two pencil or um, or just using one pencil, one specific kind of pencil. If you're totally new to drawing and you don't know, um, drawing pencils are graded on a scale from 9B roughly to about 9H. And what that means is the higher the number and the letter B, the darker the pencil because the lead is softer. And that means that when you draw on the paper, it's gonna leave a really dark line without a whole lot of pressure uh, because the lead is soft. And then the higher the number and the letter H, the lighter the line because the lead is very hard. So um, when you draw on the paper, it leaves a really, really light line. And the reason that you would wanna use multiple pencils instead of just one is because you're able to pick the pencil that matches the value that you want more closely. So that way you're not really relying on trying to draw really, really hard and pushing the pencil into the paper to get a dark line or really trying to draw as light as possible because that's actually kind of difficult too. So instead of doing that, instead of using you know your dexterity to try to get the right value, you can just pick the pencil that matches the right shade that you're trying to get. So I thought I would um, give you kind of a demonstration and show you exactly what it looks like when you do a drawing with the proper drawing pencils using the right grade as compared to using a number two pencil, which um, if you're curious on that grade from 9B to 9H, um, an, a number two pencil like you would use in school is about an HB. So it's actually right in the middle, in the center of that grading scale. Um, and that's what pencils most people are familiar with. Um, but I wanted to do a back-to-back -back comparison. So I have this little outline here. I don't know, it's not showing up very well on camera, but um, I did an outline of an eye. And um, what I would, I have a line drawn right here down the center. So what I thought would be an interesting way to demonstrate the difference between using one pencil versus using multiple pencils is um, I cut it down the middle here and on this side here, on this left side, um, I'm gonna do all of the shading and all of the work using an HB pencil, um, which would be the equivalent to a number two pencil. So I'm going to use this one singular pencil for this whole side here. And then for the other side, I'm gonna do what I would normally do, which I would use multiple pencils. And I have one, two, three, four, five, I've got six different pencils. So I've got six different pencils here, and I will start with a 6H, and that is gonna be the lightest pencil that I use. And then a 2H, that's gonna be the next lightest. A 2B, which is gonna be a little bit darker than a regular number two pencil. 6B, which is a little bit darker yet. 8B, and that one happens to be the darkest uh, pencil that I have. And then um, I thought maybe I'd also go in with a black Prismacolor colored pencil to really get some deep blacks because, fun fact, no matter how dark of a B pencil you have, graphite is never actually black. It's more of a dark, like a slate gray color. So you can never really get real black um, using pencil. So for just some darker accents, I might go in with this, um, but it, we'll see toward the end and see how that works. So I'm gonna start over here on the left using just this HB pencil, which again is like your regular number two pencil. And I'm gonna do my best to get as wide of a variety of values as I can using just one pencil. It might be a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna do it in time-lapse quick, and uh, I will be right back with the finished product.
Okay, well, there is one half of the eye done. Um, it actually, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Um, it looks a little flat. It definitely looks a little flatter than they normally would, or than this normally would if I were able to use all the pencils that I wanted. I kept like subconsciously reaching for these other pencils um, to get just the right tone, but obviously I can't do that. But I don't think it's really showing up on camera here. Uh, the one thing that I did struggle with the most was getting the really light values. Um, it's really hard with this pencil. Um, no matter how lightly I just barely touch the paper, the, the lines that it were leaving were just too dark. And you can sort of get away, you can cheat a little bit um, by blending. But I specifically did not blend any of this, so that's why it looks a little bit rough. Um, but I purposefully didn't blend any of this because I didn't want to sort of, you know, cheat my way out of it. I really wanted to um, demonstrate just why using one pencil just doesn't really work when you want realism. So anyway, here is the one side. Um, doesn't look terrible, and I haven't done the other side yet, so if the other side looks worse, then I'm really gonna feel like a fool. But I'm gonna go in and do the other side now with my uh, six other pencils, and I'll do that one again in time-lapse and then be back once it's all done and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and see what we come up with. So that is basically that. Um, as you can see, there is a pretty stark difference between both of these sides. Um, the side on the right definitely has a lot more contrast and a lot more different values than the one on the left. And one thing that you might not be able to see, and I'll insert a picture because the camera quality really isn't that great, but one thing that is um, definitely noticeable to me is there's a much smoother transition between all the different values on the right side than on the left side. And the reason that is, is because I have a whole lot more transitional uh, values because of the different pencils. So whereas on the left side, uh, since I was only using the one pencil, it was up to me and, and how hard or how lightly I was pressing on the pencil to try to get as many different variations in tone as possible or in value as possible. Whereas on the right side, um, I didn't have to work so hard to get different values because the pencils sort of did it for me. So that led to a much smoother transition between all the different values. So anyway, and you wind up with something like this. So it's not necessary um, to go out and buy a whole giant set of pencils if you don't want to, but um, I think it definitely helps. So like I said before, um, one way of sort of gaming the system a little bit is to use a blending stump or um, something like that to blend as much as possible if you're using just one uh, pencil. That way it'll help you get some smoother transitions into the lighter areas. But the other thing that uh, is pretty obvious is just how much darker the side on the right is. And the reason there is that no matter how hard I press down into the paper with the HB pencil, it just would not get dark enough to match the side on the right where I was using an 8B pencil. And I never did end up using the black colored pencil. Um, I just stuck to the regular uh, six graphite pencils that I had planned on using uh, with the HB pencil too. I didn't think I was gonna use that one in the beginning, but um, I think that was definitely helpful. There you go. That is the difference between one pencil and using six different pencils. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it maybe demystified a little bit about drawing pencils for you. If you did like it, as usual, like you've heard probably about a million times by now, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more things like this, then subscribe and click the little bell to get notifications on every time I upload a video. And I hope to see you 
in the next one.